Hey Fanatics, Dave here with another video tutorial from LightroomFanatic.com. In this tutorial, I want to show you how to disable and remove Lightroom plugins that you're not using. In Lightroom 5.7, Adobe included a new plugin that made it easier for Aperture users that were coming over to Lightroom to import their images. Unfortunately, for those of us that were already using Lightroom, that plugin was enabled by default and it cluttered up the plugin menu. You can see under here, under File, Plugin Extras, you've got a bunch of options here that uh, that you may not need. When I went in to disable that plugin, I saw that there was a bunch of other plugins that were enabled on my machine that I also didn't need. So I thought I'd show you how to clean up your plugins too. So to get started, we're going to go into the Plugin Manager. And as you can see, I've got a bunch of plugins uh, listed here, and the little green icon means that they're enabled. So I can tell by looking at this list that I've got a bunch that I really don't need. So for starts, this top one is the Aperture uh, iPhoto importer, which I don't need because I'm already using Lightroom. So I'm going to go ahead and disable that one by clicking on the Disable button. Then I'm going to scan while I'm in here the rest of the plugins to see what other ones that I can disable that I don't need. So I don't use Behance. Um, I shoot only Nikon, so I don't need to, to tether for Canon, so I can disable that one as well. Uh, I usually don't post directly to Facebook from Lightroom, so I'm going to disable that one. I don't use Flickr don't have a Leica and the rest of these are plugins that I've installed so on plugins that you've installed you also get an option to remove the plugin entirely so if you're not using one and you want to remove it from this menu you can go ahead and click on remove and it'll it'll be taken out of the the list but for the plugins that are included with Lightroom you don't get that option by default so um, those, the best you can do uh, most of the time is just disable them. So now looking through, I've got my Photomatics export for my HDR. This is the analytics plugin. These are two that I used to post to my blog. There's my Nikon tethering, and that's the export for uh, to export to PNG. So at this point, uh, my plugin manager looks pretty good. I've got only the ones that I use uh, left that are enabled. So I'm going to go ahead and click on done. And now if I go back to the Plugin Manager Extras, you can see the iPhoto and Aperture items are, uh, are no longer there because I disabled the plugin. So, and if you've disabled, disabled other plugins like the Flickr one, when you go to set up publish services or do some exports, you'll see that those items are removed from those menus as well. So uh, disabling plugins is a really good way to clean up your menu a little bit and remove some of the clutter. I hope you found the tutorial useful. For more, remember to check us out over at lightroomfanatic.com. While you're there, remember to sign up for the newsletter and get a free copy of our Lightroom Performance Boost eBook. Check out the resources page for tools, plugins, and discount codes. And remember to follow me over on Twitter at LRFanatic. We'll see you next time.